Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do a van tour. Now it's an unusual van tour in the sense that A it's not built um, and B it's in the middle so some of it is built some of it's not. Because I started YouTube channel documenting this in sort of uh, midway through we want to try and catch up as to where we are and how far we've got and what we've done. So you can see the fan behind me for those of you who've seen previous videos you'll know it's a 2017 Mercedes Sprinter. It was an ex-fleet vehicle I picked it up it was this lovely blue colour um, so we've sorted that out but what I'll do is I'll walk you through the outside of the vehicle and then we'll take a look at the inside of the vehicle and we'll sort of catch up to right now today where we are. So we're going to start with the obvious which is the colour so as I say it was blue it's now NATO green and black uh, that's been rollered on and so it's wrapped to paint that's been rollered it's was a bit of a, a long time job, but we got there. We got some lovely stickers on the window. So if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and click the bell notification, all that sort of thing. That'd be great. We've put on these lovely wheel arch trims uh, back and front here, which are great. And we've also changed out the wheels to the uh, all-terrain tires. Now the, the wheels themselves, I will do in the future, but for now, uh, my next job or one of the jobs in the next couple of days I'm going to spray them up and I've just got some covers to go on them for now uh, and that will be fine so they've got the all-terrain tyres on there which are um, pretty rugged and then if we if we have a look round now we go towards the front so we did have a lovely logo on the front there but unfortunately that, that came away so I've got another one on order to stencil it in and we'll we'll work on that as we go uh, we've got Ronnie the Rhino in the front there, the little mascot. So if you see him, you know that it's my van. So come and say hello. So we've got bull bars here. We've got some spotlights on the bull bars. Uh, all of this trim has been brought in in black again uh, to a certain amount of degree. It looks a damn sight better than it did, but there's still plenty to do. So when we look at the outside, we've also got spotlights on the top. We've got a Rhino roof rack. We've got uh, an awning here from Direct 4x4. It's only a, just a normal pull-out one, but that works fine. We've got some tracks. There is solar to go up there, but I haven't quite got around to putting that on yet. On the top, there's a maxi uh, max fan and a, uh, a big opening at the back there, which I'll show you from the inside in a moment. So there's still a little bit of tape that's got to come off around the windows here, but that gives you an idea of, of the outside. So that almost brings us up to date on the, the, the outside of the vehicle. We do have a spare wheel holder to go on there. I've also got some ladders to go on and I've also got my old leather railway satchel which was on my last van and the one before that. I've been carrying it around for years. It's a, it's a great bit of kit and I use that to basically put my rubbish in, collect rubbish along the way so it saves it being in the van. So you'll see that when it goes on anyway over the next, hopefully the next couple of days. So that's the outside covered. Now let's take a look on in the cab to start with. So I'm sure you can see that. So basically we haven't really done a lot to the cab except for we put new seat covers on everything. So they've got this leather look seat covers, which actually I think they look really nice. They've come out okay. On the floor there, we've got some nice rubber floor mats just to make it much, much easier to wash down. And on the top where you've got the, the little holder things, I've, I've done a little thing with that. I'll show you now. I'll just flip the camera around and I'll show you. So if you can see here, what I've done is Above the sun visor here, you've got these little handy sort of shelves, but everything kept falling out. So I've made these little Velcro connectors thing. There's a little video on that. Uh, and, they, and they work out a real treat. So essentially, we've got that, we've got the mats, we've got the seat covers, oh, and we've got our little glass dragon that sort of comes around with us everywhere. And that's pretty much the inside of the cab. Nothing much has changed other than that. So in the front area of the cab, I put um, overhead storage. Now, this didn't come with that. So what I did was basically I made my own and that's where the sun visors and things go. It wasn't actually that difficult. So that's that, uh, one of Louise's little bobble hats there. Uh, they don't look good on me. Obviously some torches for walking and things. Now, I've got a basic curtain that goes across there. I've got a rail to go up, but for now, say that's just temporary. A lot of the things in here are, are temporary fixes because we want to use the van. We don't want it to be um, just sitting idle for months on end while we get the work done. 
So here we've got my handy little stool come box thing. So in here I keep dog food and bits and bobs. That's really handy, that moves out. Next along we've got a, uh, what is our toilet is in here. So it's a seat, but inside here we've got our toilet. So this opens out, this opens up, and it's a working chemical loo. So that's there. Here we've got our kitchen area, which again, all this is a work in progress, remember? So this... This side here, I've actually just got a piece of worktop for the moment. What I've got is a beautiful piece of live edge wood, which I've, I've, got, to, uh, I've got to put in. So I've got a fantastic piece of wood for that. And uh, it's going to look fabulous when it's done. Again, just a little cover and chopping board here. Again, DIY underneath. We've got a two ring burner and the lovely copper sink here. So again, at the moment, it's full of junk because it's a work in progress. Above that, if I just take a step back, you can see above that, just a bunch of cabinets. Now again, it's meant to be rustic. Rustic is the look that I'm going for. So um, these are taken out of my old van and been repurposed. So some of it's gonna have to be moved and tidied up and things, but overall, once that's varnished up and stained a bit, that's all gonna look lovely. Again, we've got the little electric controls over there. So we've got some sockets and some switches and things. That's all standard stuff. Um, you've got your sink, water pump, so on. Underneath again, we've got some rough doors. These are doors off the old van and they're just holding everything in for the moment. So um, again, they're not gonna stay there. So over here, we've got our lovely bench seat. So this is a bench, a hop up, a dog bed and storage as well if we can lift this up in here there's quite a bit of storage which is which is great so we've got like a his and hers section of that works like a treat uh this so the base is um oh well, you can see where the diesel heater is as well that's underneath the passenger seat so at the moment the bases are this uh this is the original blue color so i'm going to carpet those i'm going to make a step so when the seats swivel, because they are on swivels, all of the seats swivel around. So when they swivel, it's a little bit high up for Louise to put her feet down. So I'm going to make a little step to go along that edge there. Uh, and then we can use that for a little bit of storage as well. Uh, here's the stand for the lagoon table. It's obviously not a, a real lagoon table. It's one of the knockoffs, but it works perfectly well. So that's great. That's attached to the frame itself. Moving around, we've got. Uh, what is our little cool box? That is a plug-in cool box. It's a cheap alternative. There's nothing clever or fancy about it, but it works for what we want, especially this time of year. Uh, all of that is just a face. That's just a cheap bit of ply that's going to be moved over time and covered up. The same with the sort of trim up the side here. So there's a lot of work to be done, but at least it's usable now. Now, one of the things I don't know whether you can see from here are these sliding doors. So they're concertina doors and they close off the bedroom complete. And they're great. So when you're, so there'll be some pictures coming up in a moment of all of these things. You can see the pictures and, um, and yeah, they're great. So they close the door off. They took up, I think it was three and a half inches of space to make that so that they could close completely, but it totally sections off the bedroom area, which is fantastic. Then we've got the television up here. Now it was above the bed, but um, we moved that to here. So we're gonna give that a try this weekend and see whether we prefer it there or not. Time will tell, but for now that's where it is. So if we move into the bedroom area, again, we've got more cupboards up over here and the gap where the TV used to be has now got some duvets in it, just in case it gets a bit chilly. We've got a curtain at the back there. Uh, obviously the back doors need to be done on the inside, but uh, we've got to get the ladders and things on as I've already mentioned. Now, some of the upholstery is done here. The wiring's done for the, uh, the spotlights to go up, the reading lights. Some of the upholstery is done. And obviously the back of the flares here, we've got the carpet in. And the back of this side, there is a, uh, this comes out for the window here. But for the most part, that stays that stays in. To be honest with you, we only really put the window in for the uh, for the fact that it needs it to be registered as a camper van. So the bed itself, it's a full double. It's uh, I think it's six foot six across with the flares. Got a lovely sheepskin on top, and we've got our lovely quilt here. This was a wedding gift. It's handmade, and it sort of stays in the van. It's very very nice. So that's kind of the inside of the van up to date.
so now we've got just the other little bits on the ceiling here. So we've got our lights. Uh, I should have said really. We've got light switch here when we first come in. That turns all the lights on. There's a light switch here. We've got a little spotlight here, which is great for reading and things. We swivel seats and the lagoon table makes a nice little office space to work from as well. Um, the spots run right across the top. We've got a maxi fan which is great. And at the other end of the bedroom, if I can just whip you around, the other end of the van there, we've got this lovely skylight here as well, just above the bed, which is which is really nice to sort of look up at the stars when you're lying in bed. So that's kind of the inside now. That's kind of this side of it. The only thing really left to show you is the garage area. And welcome to the garage and the back of the van. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of space. Let me just see if I can back up here a little bit. Here we are. As you can see, there's quite a lot of space. Uh, and that's because the bed is, has been put in to be at the height so that it goes into the flares, which I've put in as well. So those flares obviously give extra width on the inside, but they're at a certain height and, and you've got to sort of go up to that height. So that's that's what we've done, which gives us this really big garage underneath. Now, they're on those uh, is it the Scova bed, bed beams. Scorver, I think it is from Ikea. Anyway, they were really good. So they're, um, they're, I've used rivet nuts in those into the frame and put those in and they're very, very sturdy, very solid. So I've got basic uh, setup, a couple of leisure batteries and all the rest of it. I won't go into that at the moment because that's just temporary again. That's just there enough for now. And yeah, and it's just, uh, as you can see, it's a right mess in there, but all the bits and bobs. So the biggest part really of all of this was just sort of is finding the time to do it all as you can imagine it, it takes a lot of work now when i started it was just a panel van nothing more and with that panel van uh, it it came with all the things a fleet vehicle panel van sort of comes with so it wasn't particularly uh, in great shape body wise needed a little bit of work and things but it was a panel van so all we put, we put all the windows in put all the flares in. Uh, so all of these things I did as a base level before we started with everything else. Now inside it's fully insulated. Again, I'll put pictures of this up so you can see what we did. So everything was cleaned out, everything was prepped and primed, everything was painted where it needed to be, rust proof, that sort of thing. Um, we had the noise deadening sheets has been put on, insulation has gone in, lots and lots of insulation has gone in. Everything is totally sealed up inside and uh, hopefully that will pay dividends further down the line because that obviously is, is something that you don't see unless of course you're there in the moment. So I'll stick some pictures up, uh, you can see the pictures as we go along. But essentially, all that prep work took a lot of time and it's stuff that you don't see. So by the time you get to the, the stuff that you do see and the things where you can look back and go, oh, there's a real change in this today, right? You know, that's a couple of weeks in, <laughs> depending on how much time you've got to do it. So, right, that's our walk around for today. That brings us right up to now and where we are right now today. So what we've got next, the aim now is to uh, get the wheels done, get the wheel trims on, um, get the spare wheel carrier up and on, get the ladder on and my lovely railwayman's um, bag there, get all that on and then I can start going back to the inside. Now I do have long decals to go along the sides, you know, some of those mountain range kind of things because again if, we're, if I'm trying to get this into a camper and registered by the DVLA it has to have all these things including decals that make it look like a camper van, right? So I've got some decals, but because of the drama I had the other day with the logo on the front, I'm holding fire on that until I can figure out and make sure that it's right because they're not cheap. And also it takes a bit of time to do. So hopefully over the next few days, all that will start taking shape. So if you've got any questions, if you're interested to know any more, then drop me a comment, let me know. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one.